Hi, this is Team uh, Smart Mirror. Uh, although we're not Smart Mirror, we're piloting. We're not piloting. We're pivoting our idea to a smart driving buddy. Uh, I'm Andy. Joseph. Oh, I'll be. Um, so I'm just going to be discussing the agile work review that we did recently. Um, so the main thing that we did is we completely pivoted our idea from smart mirror to the driving mud driving buddy. Uh, we just felt like it didn't really have anything new to it. So just felt like it was best to change to something else. So our new idea is a product that will analyze driving behavior typically for teens around the age 15 to 18 who just got their permit for the first time um, and it could just provide feedback on their driving and store the data somewhere on an app or server wherever we haven't really figured that out yet um, and so what it's going to have is a raspberry pi and oak d and imu to get accelerometer data um, and then an OBD2 sensor to get some extra data from the car. Uh, we haven't exactly put it into the port yet, so we're just going to figure out what we can get from that. Um, and then we have a GPS to help us with like a Google API. Um, in terms of research, we just have to collect data from the OBD port, um, try to figure out what kind of data is important to have. Um, and then looking into the driving test is another important thing. And then seeing like um, what exactly we want to implement into our product. Uh, and then finally, it's just a matter of hooking everything up and then just getting it working. In terms of customer meetings, we just talk to people like in class and um, the professors and stuff like that but most people like the idea of having a driver course where we can give somebody some sort of just course that they can take and then they can get a score back um, also we found out that you need someone with you when you have a permit um, that was like a slight oversight but considering that you have people who um, have parents with like a language barrier um this could be something to help out and just make it a little bit better for those kind of individuals uh i talked to my mom about it and she said it would have been useful because we struggled a lot when we were going through the whole permit exam but um hopefully we can create something for people that can alleviate that also people are just kind of concerned on how the score will turn out we haven't fully figured that out yet but we're going to go through it and see what's best. Um, honestly, we haven't really done too many meetings because we just changed our idea about a week and a half ago. So we're going to try to get more for Sprint 2. And for our features to prioritize, so our, our number one uh, priority is to have the Google Maps API working so we can access like all the all the different map data and all the like, different speed limits, hazards, best routes, et cetera. And then, so, so so then, with that is like kind of like like the main foundation of what our project will be based upon. Given that we're, we're gonna have to be able to create th these practice courses, um, and then we would also have need to have it driving advice be accurate to how they're driving and so when you keep analyzing all the data so we, we just needed we just needed like a lot of like actual raw data to understand all the different values we're going to be getting from the sensors um for the system iot design so we have a few different sections so first for the iot in terms of like the actual sensors uh so first we do we we're planning on using a raspberry pi to interface with all the sensors and with the mobile app uh, so the Raspberry Pi has plenty of I.O. for each of these. So like, for example, the IMU can communicate over I squared C and the Oak D camera can communicate over USB and stuff like that. Um, so then after that, we have the IMU, which has an accelerometer and a gyroscope on it. And then the Oak D camera will get image data and also some depth data from that. 
and then the GPS for more accurate location data so that we don't really have to rely on the phone for that. And then finally, the OBD2, which is like the car diagnostic data. So that's the one that we've also researched a lot into because the other ones are more simple to get up and running because there's like a lot of information out there. But for the OBD2, there's like so much data you can get because you're basically connecting to the car's CAN bus, which it uses to communicate with all of its parts. So there's like a lot of libraries out there that you can use to kind of get all the information from the car and it's very detailed. So like, I guess the hardest part of the project will be kind of putting all this data together. But in terms of the actual Raspberry Pi, it's very simple. You're just going to connect all the sensors and kind of put all the data in one place and then send it to the mobile app. And then the front end will be the mobile app, which can display the route and then the scores and stuff like that and get the feedback. And then in terms of the back end, we'll have a REST API running on the server that can receive the data from the mobile app and then do some processing. So that way we can do all of our processing in the cloud kind of, and like the server will be more powerful and we can you know, write it all in Python and, and stuff like that. Um, and then for our Sprint 2 plan, so first we're gonna start developing the product and we're gonna get the object detection and Google Maps API integration working. Um, in terms of rats, uh, lack of internet connection is one, uh, which is why we decided to add the GPS. Uh, it could be cumbersome to use if there's like a lot of parts. So we kind of need to get it like into a package that's easy to install. Um, it also needs to work in hazardous conditions, like because the advice that you give and the feedback you give might kind of change. And then also we need to be worried about different laws because each kind of st each state has its own permit laws and its own uh, driving regulations. So that's something that we need to worry about. Uh, we're definitely planning on interviewing more people. So for example, we want to interview some CHP officers because that would probably be a good idea because they understand a lot about the laws. Um, and then we also want to interview some parents who have kids that are preparing for the driving exam and then possibly insurance companies because with our if we're collecting this much data and we create some kind of score, then maybe insurance companies could also kind of take this data to make people's prices cheaper. So that's something that we want to uh, explore as well. And then in terms of research, we want to like, you know, read the driver's manual uh, to really find out like what we should be focusing on in terms of data collection and like how we can score drivers. And then we're also going to kind of focus more on connecting all the sensors and getting some like basic code up and running in terms of uh, connecting everything to the Raspberry Pi and then sending it to the server. Uh, so yeah, thank you for listening to our Thank you.